Tannis with the grab. Clock this time taking the grab, and he's got enough health and armor to walk it in with a nice little bit of flair. So the first cap goes to the blue team after a triple handoff. And sometimes that is what you need in order to get it done. Nice little uh, <laughs> grab ass train. Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but that just struck me as particularly raunchy. <laughs> just because you said it. Well, think about it. In order for them to get that play to work, no. they had to be in a nice little line, grabbing each other's ass in order to pick up the flag so quickly. So it all works out. Yeah, but it turned into a gravy train pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright, anywho, we're seeing Clock uh, battling in mid here. Not fighting a lot of frags, not fighting a lot of action, but it's going to be ID at red, grabbing the haste. But once again, no armor. There it is. There's the red up for him, finally. And a nice mega health as well. So he should be doing a strong, strong, aggressive push right now. So we're going to be seeing him move through red into the blue power-up room, uh, right along the, the right lower corridor Look here. Look at the movement. Moving right in. There's one rail, but ID is going to be shut out here. Actually, he does manage to get out. There's a rocket Ooh, jump up to the top. Health. He's down to four health, and there's going to be King getting the return. Uh, you yeah, can just great see him coming up King. there. Fly to the Valkyries playing in the background, and that's going to be a good rebound. Yeah, I mean, that, that was really close to getting it down to King. Read it perfectly. Showed up at just the right time. ID. Not able to get the uh, quick follow-up, and you can see how he's putting this constant pressure on. He's like, okay, you know, I, I kind of wrecked their base a little bit. I got them out of position. Let me see if I can grab the flag and just, you know, do it again really quickly. It didn't quite work out, but and here he is again, pushing in. Constant pressure. Artan is coming out behind him. King will actually get the frag as a fresh spawn, but uh, he's got a real gun. He can have a little fun with this. Let's go take a look again at ID. Back in for more. He's not done. Straight into King. That's a shotgun to the gut, and that'll be enough for the kill. This time, though, two health for ID oh. as he goes back. He'll be able to steal the red armor. Not able to get very far though with this only with only having two health. Oh, but there are two. There are two There's teammates the there. He wants it. Uh, you can see him wanting lost. it. You can see him reaching for it. Going no. I has a want, but he does not has a get. But we're still going to be seeing this 11 minutes in, 1 to 0. And CTF 10, as always, fairly low scoring. Blue currently in the lead, clock, grabbing red armor. Jones chilling center mat with a railgun, waiting for that regen spawn. Just poised with a railgun on the spot. Artanis does have that regen in hand. And it is counting up ID. Pretty much the same thing between these two regen carriers. ID going back for armor. And we see that the uh, blue's armor is just now coming up. It's just now been taken. So ID actually has a little bit of a head start. Gonna get shut down in center though. He's like, Demon, go be fodder. Thanks, Demon. My turn. Hi, Artanis. How you doing? So ID lost all of his armor. <laughs> and there it is, two, one more time. Cool. Playing Great D. And King joined by him. So. You know, we haven't really been giving King a lot of uh, stream time, but if you take a look, nine deaths, very solid. And he has yet to let a flag go. And again, yes, deaths do win games, at least in the respect that, yeah, having that good, strong D guy, especially on a map like Courtyard Conundrum, uh, where he does have quite a lot of opportunity to not miss somebody rushing in, he can usually get, like, one or two rails off before they're even close to the to the flag uh, spawn area. But uh, King does take down D Demon as Demon tries to make the steal for Mega Health. Not going to be happening. King is just going to be assisting the rest of his teammates in handing that item off. But now we have major items coming up in about 40 seconds, and we're still going to be watching King for a little bit as... Well, he's trying to play some D, but he's finally going to get taken down by GWC. And this is actually a pretty big hole right now, even though Mega was grabbed. GWC only 63 health, though. <laughs> he was like, uh, yeah. I... They need, uh, they need to I, put, put a little bit of teamwork together on that push. Because, as you said, you know, King, he does go down. And, you know, if, if you can catch him 
when he's weak. That's the time. Look at this massive press in for the blue power up. And it is indeed the one spawning first. If we take a look at the timers, blue spawns about five seconds before reds. And here it comes. Artanis grabs it, looking to fight for his life. Not going to happen. GWC and IND prevail. GWC has one. And uh, I'm not sure if ID got the other one. Let's go take a look. Yes, yes, he did. He's been joining. This is gonna be a three-man push. ID, GWC, and Demon. Oh no, it's like the clock has been able to defeat GWC and pick up his haste. So he's back on D. So nothing fruitful out of that power-up run. Yeah, Demon just uh, the poor guy with his ping. He's just kind of rushing in. <laughs> Long drawn-out rail battle. GWC is uh, out of rails, in fact, so he has to back off. Still only one cap down, this red team, and they need to put something together in the next 5 minutes and 40 seconds. And King with the flag is going to be taking out Jones, but it's going to be G Two. GWC once again, uh, just getting the return on that. So, yeah, th this map just makes it so, so difficult to make any of those one-man pushes work. Yeah, especially when this map really affords that second defender an extremely strong position on the upper um, area across from the Mega Health. And, uh, you know, usually if you can get past one, you're not going to get past the second because of the line of sight is just so... I mean, there's such a huge area where you're visible and vulnerable. So we do have power-ups in about 15 seconds. We're going to see, uh, again, blues come up about five... Um, oh, actually, this time... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's about red five seconds it. still. This is actually pretty big because Jones is going to be getting regen off of that. He's down to 74 health, but that regen is going to be picking him up the entire time. And now they're going to be set back here. Regen and haste now for Jones. And red armor is going to be up for him. So again, they knew that blue's power-up was coming up pretty early. And so they took that opportunity to just... Uh, yeah, they, they took that opportunity to just rush in, take the power-up for their own. And even though regen's going to be running out, there's still going to be a lot of haste. So this is a good stack so far for Jones, but again, rails across the courtyard. Oh, look at that. Railgun will cut down the carrier. It's going to be ID grabbing it, though he has no armor. Will be cut down. Long range, it's going to be King getting the final shot and the final word, putting that run to rest. And, Here's uh, the thing, honestly, though. We saw haste. We saw Jones with that haste not using it very hastily. He was not making the kind of rush and RJ out of there kind of play. He was kind of oh. probing in, uh, trying yeah. to make his teammates uh, take up some of the slack. But when you've got that haste, uh, it's not going to be doing you a lot of good unless you're making that kind of aggressive play. Yeah, actually, Brick is commenting in game chat. Should have grabbed and bounced. And I would have to agree when you've got that kind of... I mean, you know, as he made the grab, he had enough in order to do a rocket jump and not be yeah. you know, totally squeezed off. The biggest problem, though, is that King has... I mean, he's very comfortable. I mean, he just basically went, okay, you know, the fight at the flag is lost. Let me back up, grab a rail, and wait for this long range. And so, you know, if you go for the armor... I've got you there. If you try to do a rocket jump to get out quick, I've got you there. You know, uh, he pretty much was in a great position to cover any exit out of that room. So, uh, kind of an unsung hero at the moment, as uh, he's, again, continuing to work to keep all flags home. Right now, he's fighting over I resources coming up now. All right, but our town is going to be getting that regen. Uh, red item coming up right about now and it's going to be ID getting regen as well so uh, they're going to be waiting a little bit uh, red armor is up blue armor just got picked up by our town so it's actually going to be clock making the grab he's going to be shoved off there pretty soon so yeah uh, really apt name for CTF 10 courtyard conundrum <laughs> I'm watching Artanis at the moment. He has a nice stack too. Is able to grab this flag. Though I'm gonna go back over. Well, I'm expecting Artanis to get the other flag in a second, but maybe he won't. Two seventeen health has turned the corner. He might be able to get this thing past. He has gotten. And oh, that mega health looks so tasty. And he's got forty-one health. He's down. 
and we will see a return again.